Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the muffler on a 2012 to 2015 Honda Civic. These are the tools you'll need. To get the exhaust hangers off the muffler, a pair of exhaust hanger pliers is best. I know most people won't have them, so you'll have to make do with a pry bar. It's not the easiest, but I don't expect most people to buy these. You'll also need a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. And the aftermarket kit I got uses 15 millimeter bolts rather than the 12s that the stock ones are. It's also good to have some penetrating oil, especially if you're in rusty areas like New York where I am. You'll also need a set of ramps or a jack and jack stands. You can see that the muffler has just broken off of the flange where it connects to the pipe before it. You should be aware that sometimes if you replace just the muffler when you bolt it onto the old pipe, it will just break that pipe too. But this one looks okay, so I think I can replace just the muffler. So that means we have to get these bolts out. But first I'm going to get the muffler out of the way because it's already detached from the pipe. The hanger for the muffler is here above the back side of it. You can see it's a double hanger, two pegs from the muffler and then one from the car. The easiest way to get this off is with exhaust hanger pliers, especially because the pipe is broken so the whole thing is just loose here. As with the pry bar, you have to stick it between the hanger and the rubber and pry it off, but it's difficult when the entire thing moves really easily. So this is where the exhaust hanger pliers are very helpful. You just go around the backside and push on the peg. comes out. Now we need to remove the two bolts holding the old flange onto the pipe. These are pretty rusty but they don't look as bad as a lot I've seen up here in New York so I don't think I need to heat them. At least if I do I don't think I'll need an acetylene torch which is good because I'm out of acetylene. But a good thing to do is use some penetrating oil on the threads. Hopefully it will help it come apart. And if you have the chance, soak it several times over several hours before you try to take them out. The factory bolts are 12 millimeter. So the propane torch isn't as effective as the acetylene torch because it's not as hot. But as you can see, that combined with the penetrating oil, let me get that bolt out. Without it, it wasn't even budging. Now hopefully the other one comes out. There we go. Now the old flange is still stuck on there. So clean off the remains of any old gasket that's on here. When I got this muffler off, it turned out the end of the pipe that's supposed to stick out here for the gasket actually had rusted off and come off with the muffler. So I had to do some work and create a little insert in there to give me a gasket surface. Hopefully you don't have to do that. So then slip the gasket onto the pipe. Like that. I'm gonna throw a little penetrating oil on the threads and the nuts just to help me get the new bolts in. It looks like the old bolts are actually in good enough shape. I could reuse them, but I do have new ones. Before installing the new muffler, it's good to put some more penetrating oil on the hanger to help the peg slip through. 
Silicone lubricant works as well for this. Now install the muffler. Now I got the muffler in position on the pipe. Get your bolts. You might be wondering why there's this spring. It's because this is a joint that's designed to be able to flex. That's why there's a round gasket and then these springs help it be tensioned but not completely hard tight. A lot of times it can be a little tricky to get these in. It helped a lot that I had the cordless ratchet so I could be driving them as I pushed. It's a lot easier than by hand. And this is an aftermarket muffler and parts. So these bolts are actually 15 millimeter now, not the 12 that they were factory. Now let's start it up and see if it's quiet. Unfortunately, there is still a small leak because of what I had to do here. I could try putting some sealant on there. Otherwise, the only real fix would be to replace this pipe as well. But it's a lot better than it was. If your pipe was fine, then it should be perfectly quiet now. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.